You are now entering the divine headquarters. What's up fam, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have had an awesome uh, week and hope you're having an awesome weekend as well. Um, I want to thank you guys for being here today. I want to thank any new viewers. Uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. If you like and how we're vibing, go to hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank my OGs for continued love and support. Thank y'all for everything y'all do. For the comments, from liking the videos, for subscribe, uh, subscribing to the channel, uh, for sending the cash app, donation, whatever y'all do. I, I really do appreciate you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and clear the energy out here. <clears throat> And I got us started off with the message here. The message that I got, the initial message that I got is to ignore the chatter. Okay, there may be some gossip going around. There may be people, uh, you may have, you may be, have, uh, be having naysayers around you at this time. Disapproving of something that you're doing. Disapproving of who you are. Um, this is just some sort of disapproval that other people maybe giving you i'm getting for some people uh, this may be people trying to give you unsolicited advice you know on your journey your path what you're doing okay spirit wants you to also know too their approval is not needed you don't need to for them to to, to approve on what you're doing how you're moving what your plans are you know what plans you want to take what actions you choose to take with your life you know what path you choose to walk down you don't need anybody else's approval. So Spirit is telling you right now to ignore the chatter because it could be a lot of people talking. A lot of people talking about what you're doing. Because I got that you guys are going through some sort of um, ascension here. Okay. It says ascending. You're moving up out of this piece. You are growing and moving on past karmic lessons. You're leaving everything and anyone from the past in the dust. It's all the way up now goodbye to the old way so you're leaving behind an older version of yourself you're leaving behind old situations old people old jobs old place people places and things you're leaving them behind if they do no longer serve your highest good and i feel by you guys leaving there's going to be a lot of people who are running their mouth about what you about your decisions about you deciding to walk away from that job you've been working on for years you know and you might have known that hey they don't treat me well there's no growth opportunities here i'm not I'm not liking this and you're gonna have some people saying oh my god why are you gonna leave that you know cushy job why are you gonna leave that let me tell you something nobody else's approval is needed god saying what i put in your heart is what i put in your heart right it does have other people shouldn't have any say so about that right you need to follow your own path you need to follow your own way in life and ain't nothing wrong with leaving the old ways behind to fit the new version of yourself because as a collective we all have been going through some sort of spiritual awakening some sort of ascension some sort of uh spiritual enlightenment right that's been these past couple of months We've been phasing out of old situations and um, and moving into new ones or preparing to move into new ones. OK, so you guys may find yourself embarking upon a new journey in your life. Right. A new way of thinking, a new way of seeing things, going after new things, stepping outside your comfort zone. All right. And when you step outside your comfort zone, it could be very, very scary. So that's why Spirit is telling you right now. Do not listen to outside influences unless they are cheering you on. Don't listen to outside people because when you are embarking upon the unknown, I'm hearing some, I'm, I'm getting that somebody here is moving into a space that you've never been in before. You are moving into territory, unknown territory, uncharted territory where you've never been in before. So it can be kind of, you know, scary. Like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to do. And at that pivotal moment, people. Wow, I'm hearing sussing out. People could people could see that. Wow, I got this person in a vulnerable. I got to, I caught this person at the right time at a vulnerable moment in their life. And now I can implant these seeds of doubt in their mind to get them to to, to, to be afraid to step outside of the comfort zone, to be afraid to. To embark, uh, to embark upon something new, because 
I'm seeing the number five here as well, which is uh, talks about adventure. First of all, it talks about change, right? And and then it talks about adventure. It talks about you venturing out and, and, and exploring the world, right? Experiencing new people, places, and things, having new experiences in your in your life. This is you. Uh, I'm getting freedom, the energy of freedom. This is you exercising your freedom to to make different choices, to change your mind, to explore your options is what I'm getting here too. And that could be a big challenge for people too as well. So Spirit is telling y'all, in order for you to embark on this journey, where you going, are you moving on up, up out of the place or whatever, Spirit wants you to have courage. To not be, to not be afraid, but at the same time, if you do feel fear, to feel the fear and do it anyways. I know that famous quote from whoever, feel the fear and do it anyways. To not let, not even your own inner chatter, right? This, this chatter could be also inner chatter as well, right? It's not, and a lot of times when you have, when that inner chatter is, that inner critic is yapping away, that could be even tougher to separate yourself from than, you know, the, the external, the people that's around you. So God wants you to put keep that into perspective to, to not let negative self-talk, to not let people gossiping about what you're doing. Oh my God, he left this. Oh my God, he left that job making this amount of money. Oh my God, she she left that relationship. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, she ain't gonna never find no better. Da, da, da. Stop listening to these people. Don't listen to it because people is gonna come out the woodwork, especially when you are embarking upon this change. And they they are there to instill fear in your heart, to, to make you start doubting, okay, your own decisions. And once we let these types of people once we let these people, okay, whether it's an inner critic, whether it's outside interferences, once we let them plant those seeds, it could be kind of hard to, to, to see past it. It could be kind of hard to dislodge that seed or dig up that seed and get rid of it. Because once it's there, it's there. So Spirit is telling you right now, don't listen to nobody. If they don't have nothing positive to say about what you're doing, about you, you know, um, about you uh, wanting more for yourself, about you growing, changing, evolving, okay? Moving forward in life. If they don't have anything positive to say about it, you don't need them people around you, right? Because you are coming into alignment with your North Node. That is very, very important right now. I want to throw some dice. I haven't thrown this dice in a minute. What are other other two at? And one. Where's the other one? Oh, here we go. Let's see what the dice, what energy the dice is telling us right now. We got what is this? Sagittarius. Okay, what is this? Hold up, I'm, I lost my little thing over here. Give me one second. All right, we got Sagittarius here. Okay, isn't it Sagittarius? Yeah. No, 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 no. We got Mars energy here. This is Mars. And then we have, um, what is this? Mm, Pisces energy here. Somebody got Pisces in their chart. You don't necessarily have to have it in your chart. And then we have the number one. Okay, the number one, the spirit is telling you that that it is time for you to take the, the role of a leader, okay? To take a leadership position in your life to be strong, to stand in your confidence, to use your free will, to embark upon this new beginning with, with courage, right? And to keep moving forward, to allow yourself to be an individual. This is all about people or places and things, whether it comes from internal, whether it comes from external, trying to stop you from being an individual, stopping you from being yourself. And that is what we want to break. We want to break that whole uh, 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 
that thought pattern that we have in our in, in our mind that we can't do this we can't do that now with this pisces energy you could be feeling kind of you know sensitive right now as well but it also represents faith okay it represents spirit as well and being quiet and searching all right so make sure that you are um I'm getting quiet in your mind. Some of y'all need to, you know, um, go out in nature or meditate more. Okay. Or, or spend a long time a little more than you normally uh, have in the past. Okay. Now with this, uh, what is this Mars energy here? Now with this, this talks about action. It's time for you to do something. This is time for you. I just heard time, time for some action. It's time for you to actually do something uh, towards your desires, right? To, to develop some sort of aggressive standpoint, whether that is a, whether that standpoint is coming from um, the masculine aspects of your energy, or or it's coming from the feminine aspect. Okay, only you will know how that um, uh, how that represent how that you know represents in your own life, or how that resonates in your own life, right? Because I get number f um, I'm I'm seeing also Jupiter energy on here because you are a, a getting into alignment with expansion, right? And abundance as well. So spirit is gonna need you to, I'm getting to align your mind, align your mood with those energies, with the energy of expansion and the energy of abundance. And how you could do that, that's you being optimistic, right? And you, uh, I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting, allowing your mind to, to your imagination to run a little wild right now you feel me like when i when i say let your mind run wild i'm talking about on the positive things on what can be instead of uh lack think about what you can achieve what you can like, like let your mind think about all the things that you want to achieve in life right because also uh spirit is wanting you to keep yourself into in alignment with that that feminine aspect of your energy and that is with receiving right this is your time to manifest okay is what i'm getting here this is going to be your time to manifest and part of that manifestation here i see this on the bottom of this deck that i was using here it's they're wanting you to use your power and fight back okay use your power and fight back what else we got here hold up y'all okay i'm gonna go to the front of the deck front of the deck i'm gonna do that in a second but you may be having yourself caught up in a little spiritual warfare right it may be your situation let's say if you normally you have a clear mind normally you know what you need to do but now you are bombarded with confusing uh energies confusing feelings um uh you're just like you, you may feel like you're not yourself you may be dealing with some spiritual warfare and and what god is saying that you got a lot of power within you you're not like a helpless individual right you don't have to just sit back and and just let yourself be attacked and just say oh well i'm being attacked today oh well this is happening to me today oh well i just gotta accept it no there's certain ways or certain tools certain um words that you could speak right there's certain mindsets that you could develop for yourself for yourself uh there's certain tools like i said tools religions and spiritual tools that you could use right and i'm getting that the power actually is within you, right? The power is within you. I'm getting it. It's with your mindset as well. Your mind is very, very powerful. And that's what God is saying. I need you to realize that your mind is very, very powerful. And a part of that power uh, and part of you stepping into that power is that you have to release the past. Okay. Because we have ghosts here. Release the chains of the past. You got to let the past go. And it's a companionship. You're never alone and know that you're never alone. OK, you got companions in the physical and the spiritual and human form and animal form. So it's like you got so many uh, so much support around you. Like I said, if it's not in the physical, it's in the spiritual. You got so much support around you. But God is wanting you to, you know, to 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 to, to see that or to feel that. Or to know that, to have that faith that you're not alone and for you to step into your power. Because look right here, we got, we have vigilance and then we also have acceleration. Vigilance talks about always watch your back. As you are climbing the ladder of success, as you are closing out karmic cycles, 
as you are moving forward, it's like a video game. You you don't you don't pass one level and you're gonna move to another level. And on that level, there's gonna be possibly new devils. Okay, it is not to scare anybody. It's so that you prepare yourself and that you don't let anybody out here catch you lacking. Okay, that you don't kick your feet up because sometimes like we could get comfortable, right? And it's not to put anybody on a state of uh, you know, um, like hyper vigilance. No. This is not telling you to get into that state. It's saying that, yeah, you may have accomplished a lot, accomplished, accomplished a lot, or you are accomplishing a lot. But at that same time, you can't just, it's not going to be the time to say, oh, well, I accomplished this level. I passed this level. So now I can kick my feet up and I got to do nothing else. No, you got to protect what you've accomplished. You have to, uh, to pr just protect yourself in general because like that saying new levels new devils but it's not like i said i'm not trying to like put fear in nobody i'm just trying to let you know that you gotta watch your back there may be this message is coming up for a reason because there might be somebody around you who's perpetuating this spiritual warfare against you to keep you stuck and keep you trapped this could be somebody speaking words over your life speaking negativity over your life as well Telling you you can't do this or even seeing stuff behind your back or having conversations with other people about you behind your back. Throwing salt on your game. Not wanting to see you uh, thrive. You know what I'm saying? And be and be successful and be abundant. But it, at the same time, what's increasing are your powers. Your powers are being increased. You're going through an acceleration right now. That's why a lot of us might feel a little weird right now too you may feel a, a little out of balance you may feel like what the hell is going on like like am i in the twilight zone but the reason why you're feeling like that is because you're going through an ascension and you're going through uh an upgrade okay this is a spiritual upgrade is what i'm getting more uh mostly here a spiritual this is something something that is personal to you right something that personally affects you And this is all about you. This is not for you to be afraid of standing in your power and being a leader. This is you allowing yourself to be who you already, who you always were. You feel me? Comment down below if y'all ready to go. RTG one, two, three. Some of y'all are discovering how powerful you are. And some of y'all discovering that you were powerful the whole time and that you may have listened to the wrong people or let the wrong, you know, let the wrong people get into your head and make you feel like that you were not, that you were weak or that they have more power than you. No, you are powerful. Also, you can fight back. You can speak positivity. It's the same way they speak in negativity over your life. You turn around and you speak positivity over your own life. You feel me? Don't let nobody keep you stuck in the past because that's what they want to do. They want to they want you to stay that old version of yourself that are that day that they were able to bamboozle, that they were able to beat out of money, beat out of your love, beat out of your time, beat out of your energy, do whatever they did. They want you to stay that old person. Right. But you're not that old person. You've gone through life lessons. You passed karmic lessons. You're not back there anymore. You're moving forward. You feel me? That's why I supposed to say cut them chains, let them chains go. Don't let nobody try to pull you back into the uh, old version of yourself because you're not there no more. You feel me? You're the one that defines you, not somebody else. I'm getting somebody. This could be your own family member who wanted you to be uh, wanting you to be that little child still who they were able to dominate. No, you're not that little child. You a grown ass man. You a grown ass woman. You're not that little kid no more. You feel me? So no, they can't treat you like that little kid no more. I'm just I just heard the audacity, the audacity to think that, OK, yeah, you got away with what you got away with because I was too young to defend myself or whatever it was. But now I'm grown. And you're not going to get away with it no more. You feel me? You're putting your foot down. You're setting. You, you, uh, oh, I'm getting that you redefining your standards. OK. Some people's your morals is even changing. And that's what people don't like to see, because we're talking about people here who like to benefit off of, 
you know, you're not having a certain standard, you're not having certain morals, you're not having, you know, you're not standing up for yourself in certain ways. They benefit off of that. But we're coming out of that energy and you're moving away from that type of energy and you're moving forward. That is what you're meant to do. I'm I just heard from somebody, you, you're in the right place at the right time. This is your moment. This is your moment to shine. This is your moment to move forward, right? You may be seeing synchronicities also. Number seven, because it's personal growth. This is about your personal growth. Some of you guys are learning more about metaphysics, okay? Some of you guys are taking time in solitude, okay, in introspection, and learning more about yourself. This is the time that you need to devote to you and learn more about you so that you can see who you really are. And this is outside of letting people tell you who you are. Now, we're not, we're not in the business or we are no longer in the business of allowing people to tell us who we are. You discover who you are. You define who you are. You feel me? That's how you, that's how you start by, that's how you start taking your power back. Don't let anybody stop you. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Ignore what anybody got to say about any, anything. What the hell that you doing? Ignore it all. Their approval is not needed. We don't care about what they think. We don't care about how they feel. We're not asking them, hey, should I do this? Should I do that? You're not asking them that. You are just rising to the occasion. You're transforming. You, you, you are strengthening yourself. It's like y'all in the gym. Y'all in, in a world gym, you feel me? In a gym, uh, a gym called life. You're in life school too and you just graduate. And, and the more you use those muscles, the more you use your spiritual muscles, your physical muscles, you get stronger. Okay, your words hold power is what I'm hearing for some somebody here too. Don't put nothing past nobody also is what I'm getting here as well. I have here, I am not afraid of life's many tests. This is you saying I'm not going to run away from when I got, when a challenge presents itself in, in my life. I am not going to be like, oh my God, I'm the victim. Why is this happening to me? I'm not going to do that no more. You feel me? This is you standing up and say, okay, cool. I'm going to deal with this the best way that I could deal with this, but I'm not going to run away from it. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to have the courage to see this through. I'm not going to run and hide under, underneath the covers anymore. I'm not going to do that. I just heard I got bigger fish to fry. I'm, I'm, I'm still climbing, rising to the top. You feel me? I'm not going to do that is what I'm hearing. I will not give up is what we got here. I will not give up. You need to keep telling yourself that every day. It doesn't matter who jumps out of the bushes, who crawls, who slithers, which snake slithers from underneath a snake or worm slithers from underneath which rock. It does not matter. You guys are putting yourself into alignment. The number eight is significant here as well. That is abundance. That is prosperity. That is financial well-being. That is you setting goals and you actually actualizing those goals uh, and, and standing in your own authority. Okay. Staying into, into in your magician to energy, okay? Manifesting, all right? Some of you guys you can be starting your own business or you be, you're going to start learning more about business and then you, you being a leader, okay? So we want you to know that it's okay for you to be yourself. It's okay to be myself. It's okay for you to be yourself. Don't let nobody stop you or try to make you think that it's something wrong with you being yourself because ain't, ain't, ain't a damn thing wrong with you, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with you. You are who you need to be right now and you where you need to be right now. But we need to stop listening to other people and stop allowing them to, to, um, to restrict us. I'm getting that Saturn energy here to restrict us and causing us to be pessimistic because because that's what they are, all right? Because you're powerful as fuck you see this right here yo if the reason why they coming after you okay the reason why they're trying to stop you the reason why they're talking about the reason why your name are in so many people's mouths right now is because you're powerful okay they know they can see that even if you don't realize it that you're powerful 
If they're intimidated by you standing in your power, then that's their MF and problem, not yours. What the F are you worried about? They need to step their game up and stop being weak as fuck. Period. Not you. You don't need to dumb yourself down. You don't need to stop standing in your power because you're afraid or scared. You don't need to do none of that. You feel me? They need to step their game up. You feel me? Or they need to fall back out of your face, out of your way. We done with pacifying people. We done with uh, dumbing ourselves down or dimming our light to make somebody else feel good. How about y'all motherfuckers increase your light? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and put an a extra battery in your back and, and strengthen yourself up to come to our level now. You feel me? Yeah. Comment down below if y'all ready to go. RTG123, baby. Come to our level now. Shit. We always be the we always be the ones, the nice ones to sit here and try to try to uh what do you call it? What do you call it? Appease people or try to what do you call it? Um compromise. Compromise and meet people halfway, whatever, meet them halfway, and then we as a result we end up dumbing ourselves down. Nah, bitch, why don't you meet us halfway by lifting yourself up? You feel me? We're not going, especially if it's, if it's to our detriment, we're not going to lower ourselves down to nobody, no, no lower standing, than, especially if we're not there no more. You feel me? If we're not there no more, y'all ascending to another level. Y'all can't be going back down to the to the, 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 the lower level and, and talking about, oh, well, hey, uh, could you understand me? Is this okay? Da, da, da. Nah, nah, nah. You keep moving forward. If they want to talk to you, if they want to, if they want to, uh, 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 what do you call him? <laughs> what is that word? If they wanna, if they wanna coincide with you, you know what I'm saying? If they want to hob not with you, they gotta come up to your level. You feel me? Yeah. It said good people. The world is full of awesome people, just like yourself. Sometimes it just takes a little extra work to find them. See through the sea of weirdos to find the good ones. They are here. So, yeah, we are weaving and sifting through the weirdos. A lot of these people who are talking shit are the weirdos that we need to be sifting through and, and moving around. You feel me? Y'all not on the same level. And I'm not talking, oh, I'm better than you. Da, da, da. I ain't got nothing to do with none of that. Y'all not on the same level. So why would you waste your time breaking your brain, trying to, trying to, ooh, sympathize with them for one, trying to understand them for two. You feel me? Because these are people, they're just trying to tear you down. They want you to be on their level with them. They don't want, they don't like to see you evolve. They don't like to see you escalate. You know what I'm saying? Go up the escalator. They don't want to see you do that. They want to be ops. They want to be opposition. And we ain't doing none of that. You feel me? We not doing none of that. It's time to move forward, baby. It is time to move forward. Their approval is not needed. Keep going. Okay. Whoever needs to hit it, you need to keep going. Keep moving. Walk away. Eight of cups. Walk away from the BS and keep it moving. If you gotta watch your back behind people, they don't need to be in your life, bro. Y'all walking away from the foolishness. Yeah, a lot of them ain't gonna be able to handle it. That's their business. A lot of them ain't gonna understand it. That's their business. It's time for y'all to keep walking forward and moving on. Here are fine. Pay attention to spiritual advice when you're getting it, right? Separate yourself from people when, that you need to separate yourself from so that you can see the higher, so you see the bigger picture. You got a whole brand new experience with Ace of Cups here. The star, you guys are meant for the spotlight. You're healing, you're moving on, you're evolving. Yeah, these mofos got you up on that pedestal because they see your star is rising. You want to know why it's rising? Because it's time for you to rise. That's why it's rising. You've done the work. You've learned the lessons. You put in on the hard work. You've, you're moving on from karmic uh, uh, lessons and whatnot. And you're ascending. You're moving on from it because you deserve to move on from it. You've done everything that you need to do. You're on point with your path and your true potential. You're North Node right now and you're, you're reaping the benefits of it. All right. Are you getting ready to reap the benefits of it with receiving? That's why I wants you to, hey, it's time for you to go. 
Don't be scared. Don't be afraid to turn your back on people who you need to do. Should, you should have already been turned your back on. The motherfuckers who, who you always got to watch your back with, turn your back on them. You feel me? That's what I'm hearing right now. The ones you got to watch your back. <laughs> no. If I got to watch my back, if I can't be myself around you, I'm not going to have you around me. If I got to ask myself, oh, my God, can I say this around this person? Can I do this around this person? Are they going to do that? I'm not going to have you around me. You don't need to be around me because you're an op. OK, I'm not the one. That, I don't hobnob with goons and goblins. We don't hobnob with them goons, goblins and ops. We don't do none of that. You feel me? Walk away. The message here is to walk away. Be by yourself. Don't be afraid to be alone. Sometimes you need to be alone to clear your mind. You got so much beauty that's coming in your life. The star energy, healing, success, your hopes, your dreams, your desires. Having a new opportunity. Feeling good. Feeling happy. Yo, this is you. A whole new set of emotions that you about to go through by moving forward on this new journey. Wow. And it, it, it's all coming behind you being yourself. That is the key for you being yourself, standing in your power, standing up for yourself, setting healthy boundaries, vetting people out, moving forward, trusting that spiritual guidance. Your spirit team is here with you heavy right now, right? Guiding you forward, giving you that guidance, giving you that knowledge that you need to move forward. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Just move. Just go. Okay? Now, that's what I got for you guys for this message. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Much love and light to everybody out there. Fafa Taitele Lava. Obrigado. Mahalo Nuliloa. Anunga Seo. Arigato. Ciao.